when I watched the film, it's undeniably raw on screen. When you read the script, was, was that same kind of rawness emanating off the page? Yeah, very much. Very much. I, when I read it, it was really difficult, really thrilling, um, and unstoppable, like just an unstoppable read. And it was an absolute no-brainer. I mean, it... it Pardon me. Benedict and and um, Rooney were were already there, and then um, it was you know it was completely. I mean, it was yeah. Please, can I do it? Basically, <laughs> please, please. For a, for an actor, the joy of your job is going on different emotional journeys and inhabiting different characters. When you read this, you're going to a dark place here. Yeah. Was 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 that something that you were you were trepidatious about? you wanted to kind of discover oh i don't know that it's discover really i think it's i think it's it's tough it's it's there's a degree of um i think there's a degree of difficulty in it that that is um you know that that is appealing if you if if you're an actor i think i think it's it's more to do with with that but it's really just down to the writing it's really you read that stuff you want to be able to play those scenes and and that's sort of the major of it and i'm presuming as well for you as an actor you don't make judgment calls on whether you see your character oh no no you i no no i think you've got different hats you know what i mean i think you can have your hat you can have your ray hat on um but no i no i i I have, you know, you know, I, I have feelings about all of all of the different characters I play. And uh, do you, is there a residue for you at the end of the day? Is it easy for you to just kind of <laughs> deshell the the character? Yeah. Depends on the days. Some days, some days it's it's sort of it's easier. You just sort of walk away. Other days, they, they sort of linger around, or there's a feeling that, that lingers around for a while. Um, yeah, it's um, yeah. I think sometimes if you're doing it right, it's just very. You know, at the end of the day, you're very like, ugh. <laughs> I imagine it. You, you must be very proud to be able to do work like this and be able to bring these subject matters to the to the screen to get people talking. Yeah, I'm very look. I'm very honoured to be asked to do this kind of stuff. I think I take that as a real. Um, I take that as uh, as an honour, and I try to, you know, try to fulfil what it's what it's asking. You do. Thank you very much. It's a thrill to watch you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. What a, a powerful piece of writing in this script, isn't it? It really is. It really is. I mean, I um read the script for the play a long time ago um, and then this felt to me like a very very faithful but also very new way of looking at it you know that the screenplay started to explore different territory uh, but I, I think it's a very important uh, subject to discuss and to discuss with this honesty and uh, to explore the ambivalence of of it um, because things aren't um, as neat and tidy as we'd like them to be, and it's not. Human emotions um, don't tie up, you know. And, and it's interesting, uh, what I think we find th through your character is when events happen, how it affects the whole family. It yeah. isn't just the two individuals no, that's right. involved, is it? Yeah, no, it's about, it's about the impact and disintegration, uh, impact on and disintegration of a family. Um, but there's a youthful folly, you know, at, at work, and, and when you are young, I don't think you realise the ramifications, you know, of things and how things might impact on the family. How do they recover from something like this? Well, I'm not sure you ever do, um, but the discussion has to be able to take place you know things can't be ignored it's about it. denial isn't it because it that's the interesting thing that you, you that what what clearly feels apparent between the relationship 
um, between yourself and, and Ro Rune, um, yeah. Ro played by Rooney yeah. Una is that there is no discussion, there is no yeah. communication yeah. And, and that just compacts the damage, doesn't yeah, it's it? That's what splinters the family, yeah. And yeah, this film and films like this, in my opinion, uh, open up a debate. Um, so important for that reason. You're, you're working with a director who predominantly works with actors as a, a theatre director. Yeah. So working with somebody like that who loves to work with actors and bring something out is so wonderful to work with because you just absolutely trust him. He, he there's no hierarchical behaviour. There's no. He absolutely pulls people together. He's so warm and he's so caring about people. This is such a, an incredibly powerful script, isn't it? I mean, when you read it, w what were your initial thoughts? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's um, uh, a really morally uh, challenging area, um, which has to be dealt with, hopefully, with some sensitivity and some kind of thought. But I think it's really, I think it's stuff that has to be dealt with by drama. Um, as I was saying a little bit earlier, I think um, something about the way media deals with it, um, I think often there can be some sort of complexities that are lost in that conversation, which hopefully films like this and drama in general can offer, I think. Yeah. What I see from your part um, is that it, yours is very sort of grounded. You know, yours is kind of like the reality that we all kind of know, which is very much needed. Yes, I think that's right. I think his um, parts like mine offer the kind of normalcy, the framework into which the sort of chaos of this woman's reappearance shatters, you know, um, everything that he's about to lose. Yeah, so... And it was, I mean, uh, but the, what was nice about your part as well is that we see, we see that he's he's not perfect, is he? He's a little stirrer on the floor. Uh, really? I mean, I haven't seen it yet, so um, oh. that's good to hear. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'll uh, look forward to finding out what he's like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and working with a director who, uh, he's, he's a theatre director, so very much a, an actor's director. Yeah. That must have been a thrill to work with as well. Yeah, I was really excited to work with him. I mean, I've been a big fan of his theatre work and um, and I wasn't disappointed in, in that. It seemed to really inform how he works and it was very sort of character driven, so yeah. This originally started as a play. Were you there in the, in the fruition of, of that? No, I wasn't involved in the original production, but I happened to stage the German premiere of it uh, in, in, in German around the time as that. And um, then the play had a very um, successful and rich life in international theatre. It was performed all around the world. Um, and I came to it having known it as a director in the theatre, but with a kind of fascination for how it might become cinema. And, and it, is there so much more that you can say because cinema is so visual with the use of close-ups? You can say different things, I think. Um, in the theatre, you're trapped in the room with those two people, um, and it's one long take. Um, the cinema has a different invitation and a different invitation to show how time works and this is really a story about time. It's a story about two people that something happened to them both 15 years ago that they've never recovered from. And when you've got actors such as Rooney and Ben who are so nuanced, did they even bring stuff that you couldn't have even expected? Oh yes, absolutely. I mean, all, all of the extraordinary cast did that surprised me all the way through but literally these Ben and Rooney were incredible collaborators we had a very active discussion about the script we were open about that we were we were also improvising things together and um, I think that's the, one of the great strengths of the film is you're watching this incredible meeting between these these two actors and, and with regards to because obviously it, the subject is very taboo still um, and you're working with a young actress as well Ruby would you, would you did you have to be particularly supportive to, to her yes absolutely and she delivers an incredible performance it's 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 really a knockout she's she's not simply there to show the young young Rooney she takes us into the consciousness of this girl who's going through an incredibly difficult moment in her life making the decision to run away from her family and her home and and it's a really extraordinary performance. And it's a subject that you know people need to heal. Absolutely, it was kind of suppressed for too long. We weren't talking about it, and it's very important that we tell we tell stories and that, and that we tell we tell stories that um, um, maybe aren't always comfortable to watch, but uh, that that are going to activate the conversation. And our 
our aim with this always was that the film was not finished when the credits roll. The film will continue in the audience's conversation afterwards. Congratulations with this film. It, I mean, it really is a, a, a brave piece of screenwriting. Have you seen it? I have indeed. Oh, Good. great. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Then let's talk. Well, let's do this then. <laughs> so the, thing to, the thing to ask is what do you think? What do I think? <laughs> I, w I would really like to think that he wasn't a predator and and that that the end scene well, that's wonderful because yeah. somebody else that has seen the film will say well I think he was and that's the essence of the film yes. and I think and I don't know whether when you read the script you, you felt the same as, as me you, you actually walk away actually feeling something yeah I mean you know, we, we developed it from the play we saw the play together actually in London and uh, and, and talked to David and, and asked him if he wanted to make a film and, and he was very adamant that he wanted it to be very different and very cinematic and take it away from the play it still has the same uh, heart of the play but it, it's it's quite a different experience we hope and um, yeah right yeah yeah I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah you right, said it Patrick right? yes yeah. well it's wonderful that you've seen the film because uh, most people who are interviewing us are male and have not seen the film. So the fact that you've seen it and the way you feel, and did you see it when you were alone? Or were I was. You? Yes, ah. yeah, yeah. And I, found, I found that the, the performance is incredibly raw and, and I think for me and I, I would imagine for you guys as well, the casting actors that were so new. And I mean with, with Rooney and Ben and Riz Ahmed, we, I mean it's a dream cast, it's absolutely a dream cast. So, I mean, it is a controversial subject. So, as producers, were you trepidatious at all in embarking on I mean, this? It'd be foolish not no, to be. No, trepidatious, but uh, so gung ho to get it done because I thought there was a good message there. It's very rare you see a play, that we, we obviously do theatre as well, it's very rare you see a play that is so silent and makes people feel something. And, uh, uh, and it's, uh, if we could translate that to the film, we'll be very happy. And you had the you had the the, the, the playwright also adapt oh, yeah. to script, yes, yes. which must have been crucial. Well, it, he was very good at doing that. But Ben uh, Benedict Andrews was also involved in that in some way. The director is always involved when there's some kind of an interpretation of a of a, of a uh, screenplay. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Sure. No. 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 I I say yes. I agree. <laughs> I nod and agree. It's wonderful. <laughs>